given anything in the way of guidelines to say to you tonight, so uh, I've spent the last uh, half of this year um, homeless, which has been interesting. Uh, not necessarily living on the streets, occasionally in cars and mostly on a lot of couches and floors, and uh, that's been very interesting. Uh, there's been some other people who have found themselves homeless this year. Um, some, some of my best friends actually have found themselves homeless. Um, including uh, Linda here, who uh, has been making wonderful food. Who... And, uh, which has been a lot of really interesting and also uh, exciting and really crazy things happening. And uh, well, we'll see what happens. But uh, just want to say I'm really excited to be here at Audio Feed, um, just for a couple reasons. Uh, Last year, there was another festival that didn't happen, and this festival seemed to come together very quickly and very naturally, and I knew that I wanted to be part of what was going on out here, because I felt that the spirit was moving. Um, because I've been involved in putting together music festivals in the past, and they're not easy. Um, it takes an awful lot of work, but this one came together so well, and was such an amazing experience last year, I know that... God was here among us, and this is such a young festival, and that's why I'm excited to be talking to you right now. Does anyone remember a music festival that happened a couple of years ago here in Illinois? Yeah, um, I, I, I played at that festival for the first time in uh, 2003, I believe. Um, I remember a whole lot of dust, uh, the most heat that a boy from Oregon has ever experienced. Uh, I thought I was going to die, um, but I survived by, by the grace of God, I, and I also got to play a couple stages there, um, and that was a wonderful experience. I also caught some weird throat uh, disease that I got from uh, drinking... Uh, accidentally swallowing some water from that lake out there. Um, but, uh, I, I just wanted to say a couple things. This festival, I think there could be some temptations to move it in a certain direction, because we're so new. And, uh, for those of you who were at the last year of Cornerstone, I just wanted to bring back to your attention that we had a symbolic funeral for that festival at the end. We burned a boat. Anyone remember that? And I wanted to, to say, I feel very strongly that that meant that that was the end of a particular era. And I think the temptation may be, or something that's in our hearts may be, to make this into a new cornerstone, to make this festival into the image of cornerstone. Well, the Spirit of God brought this festival together last year, and I witnessed that, and I believe that. This festival should not ever become a new cornerstone. You may not be convinced yet. That's okay. I think as people who are led by the Spirit, um, I believe most of us are Christians. If you're not, that's, that's cool. But we're at a Christian music festival, so it's kind of weird if you're not. But that's cool. I'm glad you're here. Um, I don't think the world actually needs another Christian music festival. And I mean that, and I would like to talk to you about what the purpose of this festival should be, or all of you can think about this, because we will all be part of shaping this. The Spirit of God has been moving, and I think that this here is supposed to be a meeting place, or a rallying point. We do not need another festival that helps perpetuate a meeting, a, an industry that had little accountability, little discipleship, and made people a lot of money who are actually part of the secular industry. Um, we don't need more of that. What we need is people seeking Jesus together. I think that that is the important thing about this. Um, we are people from all different backgrounds. Uh, I know I've met several of you. Uh, nice to see you again. 
Um, we come from different cultures, uh, some of us very much part of the mainstream Christian culture. That's great. Um, some of us have been a little more uh, on the fringes and just doing weird stuff like driving circles around the country, uh, playing clubs. Uh, that's okay. Uh, some of us maybe don't even go to any kind of uh, mainstream real church. That's alright. But uh, I'm just excited to see what this festival turns into. And uh, I think as Christians, we should be shapers of culture and not vice versa. So let's have it for audio feed. Thanks for having me to work for this. Um, thank you for all your hard work. Thank you guys for being here. Um, so let's make sure that this festival is about Jesus. And if it becomes about anything else, Thank you.